Vishnu Jain, your point noted. Varis Pathan, I don't think you are understanding what Vishnu Jain is trying to say. He is saying you can lend your support to Palestine, Nepal, Sri Lanka, what have you, Pakistan, any other country. But you can't do what Ovesi has done by saying in parliament while taking oath, Jai Philistine. That is a violation. Supporting a country is not a problem. Does it become unconstitutional? You can talk about the foreign policy. Yeah. How does it? No, no, in parliament itself, I am talking about parliament in both the houses, is Pranav, issue of question or race. And not only that, as Jay Shankar, I just now played the clip. I, I just now... I just now played the clip of S. J. Shankar, the external minister. What is India's stand vis-a-vis -vis Palestine and Gaza? What does he have to say? Is he not speaking going against the country? Is he not going against the official stand of the country vis-a-vis -vis Palestine and Gaza? He is anti-national. He is going against the country state. He is going against what Mahatma Gandhi said. He is going against what Gandhi said. This is not about. He is going against what Gandhi said. No, no, no. Our country stand is clear. Varis Bhai, listen. Our country stand is clear. No, no, Varis Bhai, this is not about lending your support to a country. It is not that. Let me read out Rule 102. One minute. This is excerpt from Article 102 of the Constitution, Disqualifications for Membership. A person shall be disqualified for being chosen as and for being a member of either House of Parliament if he is not a citizen of India or has voluntarily acquired the citizen of a foreign state or is under any acknowledgement of allegiance or adherence mm. to a foreign state. Vishnu Jain says that uh, this act of saying Jai Philistine as Jai Shankar violates Shankar. Article 102. Our country is supporting Palestine and Gaza. If you but he did not this, say this. If you go by this, kindly interpret it properly, Pradesh. Kindly interpret this. Even I have got this section 1 uh, provisions, Article 102 with me. What, what did he say? India's stand is very, very clear. If their country is supporting Palestine and Gaza, and you are calling us unconstitutional, Are we will deal with it. But Vishnu Jain, kindly tell me whether the country is Hindu Rashtra as stated by the MP while taking the oath, and what steps have you taken against him? Why don't you file as, a complaint? As, as you must, you Why don't you the, use the provisions of Article 100? No, not yet. So you no, say no, everything. You, you say no, no, everything. No, no, no. Why is why nobody is stopping you from filing a complaint? Vishnu Jain is saying precisely that. Who is stopping you? <laughs> Who is stopping you? Hmm. Why don't you file then? If you are so much worried about the country, See, yeah. he is object. You can't. No, no. One minute. You can't. You can't. You, you can't dictate him where to file a complaint, what to object to. If you have a problem. If you have a problem, you should file a complaint. I will prove it. Again. I will Sir, prove it. Let's say in Jai Philistine. We will deal with that. We will deal with that. And let the let the hearing happen before the Election provisions. Commission of India. We I know what is the constitution. If he is a barrister, I challenge Mr. Ovesi. Come before the Election Commission of India and we will prove it. That chanting Jai Philistine in the Parliament of India is unconstitutional. Merely by shouting, merely by shouting, the thing will happen, my friend Vishnu Jain. You are just shouting, ranting because... No, no, he is saying he will prove his case. Logic. He will prove his case is what Vishnu Jain is saying. Let's hear him out how he will prove his case. Vishnu Jain, Vishnu Jain, he says there is no substance or merit to uh, your complaint. See, Pranesh, it is... See, see, Pranesh, it is very, very clear that when you are taking an oath as a member of parliament and you are holding a constitutional post, there are certain restrictions which the framers of the constitution have imbibed. And the restriction is that suppose someone, some uh, Mr. Varis Pathan, he is not a member of parliament or an individual or a citizen of India, is chanting various slogans, no one is concerned. But the moment you are in the parliament of India, the moment you are in that premises, the moment you are a member of parliament, there are certain checks uh, which have been laid by the constitution itself. And the check and about, is what about, what about, that you have to be a citizen of India. And the second check is by virtue of article uh, 102 1d the, is, is that you, you cannot parliament? show your adherence uh, or allegiance to a you foreign state. This you is the check, exact word is, and, and, and let me translate allegiance and adherence in Hindi. Allegiance means showing your support, person, showing your nishtha, you. showing your various kind of tilt, then, uh, uh, your tilt towards a foreign the state. If you are doing it, you are some, it is not about, no, no, one minute, first of all, no, one minute, Vishnu Jain, Vishnu Jain, one minute, one minute, please, I beg both of you, let's not talk over each other.
किसी का कुछ नहीं सुनाई देगा व्यूअर्स को वन मिनट वारिस बाय वारिस बाय लेट्स गो वन बाय वन विष्णु जैन आई विल रीड आउट व्हाट मिस्टर ओवैसी हैज सेड ये सेड दैट एवरीवन इज मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ नॉइज आई सेड जय भीम जय मीम जय तेलंगाना जय पैलेस्टाइन इफ इट्स ऑब्जेक्शनेबल शो मी वेर इट वायलेट्स द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वेन आस्ट अबाउट इज रीजन फॉर सेइंग जय पैलेस्टाइन ही सेड पीपल आर सफरिंग महात्मा गांधी हैज एक्सप्रेस्ड मेनी सेंटिमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग पैलेस्टाइन व्हिच वन कैन रीड आउट Mr. Jain. See what Mr. Yes, that is what I quoted. What Mr. Mahatma Gandhi in his book. What Mr. Mr. Tilak. Let him. Let him just answer that. What Mr. Mahatma Gandhi has said. Has said what Ambedkar has said. What Mr. Tilak has said. It will not. It will not be a protection so far as the provision of Article 102 is concerned. Article 102 operates in its own field, and the restriction uh, and the mandate of Article 102 is that you will be uh, disqualified uh, as a member of Parliament the moment you show your adherence or allegiance to a foreign state. So the cat is. Out of the bag, Mr. Oveshi, or his co-adherence or allegiance, will Hindi me translate. Kar deta hu. Aap apna support, apni nishtha, apna tilt. किसी फॉरेन स्टेट की तरफ अगर आप दिखा रहे हैं सो इमीडिएटली इट्स अ डिस्कालिफिकेशन बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ आर्टिकल 102 एंड व्हाट हैपेंस एंड लेट एंड लेट मी लेट मी क्लेरिफाई व्हाट हैपेंस द मोमेंट आई फाइल अ पिटीशन बिफोर द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिकल 103 कम्स इनटू ऑपरेशन बाय वर्च्यू ऑफ आर्टिकल 103 द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया विल कॉल फॉर अ रिपोर्ट फ्रॉम द इलेक्शन कमीशन मिस्टर ओवैसी विल आल्सो बी हर्ड राइट सो विष्णु जैन अकॉर्डिंग टू नो नो सो बिफोर द इलेक्शन राइट आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट सो व्हाट यू आर सेइंग दिस इज जस्ट to make things clear to our viewers so what you are saying that even if someone uh, were to say jay israel that is a violation whether it is israel yes. nepal sri lanka yes. bangladesh jay israel jay nepal yeah and there you any, any foreign country If yeah it's you not about you know it's not about whether you know one can support you can mr varish pathan you can extend support mr ovesi can go there you know look at the conditions in which people are living there extend all kinds of help as is legally possible but saying this in the house on floor of the parliament is violation of article 102 that's the point what is your counter let's be specific varish bhai floor of on the floor of the parliament the external affairs minister as jay shankar has clearly stated india's stand official stand of india what is why he was speaking as a minister he wasn't taking oath constitutional in that sir are <laughs> what different in the parliament you are talking about the parliament yeah now. but he wasn't taking he oath was he minister there in the, was this is about the oath of allegiance he, he was a, he is an mp he is a member of parliament pakistan so ovc is also a member of parliament why taking oath he said what is constitution that is why we say these are baseless and irrelevant allegations which are being made by vishnu jain and his wife and it won't stand anywhere it should be with it we know the provisions of law See, Pratnesh, this is not right. When I am making my point, he is interrupting. No, no, he will not this interrupt. Not he will not. No, no, he will not interrupt. I stop myself. No, no, sir, he will not interrupt. Please make your point. He is interrupting. No, no, he, he will not. Vishnu, Vishnu, Vishnu ji, Vishnu ji. He goes very well. Let him, let him speak. Let him speak. He does not have any argument. No, no, he does please. not have any point to make. Both of you are good friends. Yes, both of you are good friends. Please, let's, let's, let's not, let's not. Is it the official stand of the BJP? Okay. So you and Vishnu Jain both are same. You are not allowed. No, 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 no. I am saying you make your yeah, points, sir. Yeah. Nobody speaks. I have been patiently listening. I have been patiently listening. Allow me to make my point. If a MP comes there, takes an oath, and says Jai Hindu Rashtra, Modi, everybody is silent, which is unconstitutional. What is BJP's official stand? Whether India is Hindu Rashtra? I want to know that. I want. I am asking them. If not, then what steps have they taken against him? As his remarks been explained? No. Has it been removed from the records? No, not yet. And when Jay Shankar stands in the parliament floor of the parliament, we are talking about the parliament, temple of democracy. He says the country's official stand is that we support the Gaza and Palestine issue. What, then, and if he says unconstitutional, if they say something. it is not unconstitutional if we say you and cry and we will deal with it we know the provisions of the constitution we have read it we have interpreted it properly and i don't think so there is any irregularity or unconstitutional thing done by barrister sadudin obviously okay.